guys, welcome back. Today's video, we are doing a huge Freddy's mukbang along with another story time because y'all have been asking me to do more story times so much. So I'm coming through for y'all and I'm doing another story time. And today's story time is actually going to be on my craziest prom night ever back in high school. I'm gonna kind of take a break from doing story times on Nugget. I will do more on him, don't worry, but I kind of want to save them. I'm not ready to finish off that series yet. So we are gonna do it on my prom night this video and we are gonna order a ton of food from Freddy's and just dive in together and have a little chatty story time but I was gonna do Culver's today because I've been promising y'all a Culver's mukbang but Culver's is over 30 minutes away and I'm also filming a video tomorrow so I just didn't want to overdo it this weekend so I will do Culver's very soon don't worry and Freddy's has very similar food so don't worry y'all are still going to get the vibe of that kind of food but yeah I'm gonna go order the food and we will get started all right you guys we have secured our Freddy's bag there is so much food in here I cannot wait to show y'all what I got but let me get all set up and we are going to dive into the story time I am so excited okay so I think we are all set up and ready to go I try to get it set up the best that I can and I do apologize about the moving cars in the back if that is distracting let me know and I will try not to have that in my next video but this was like the best lighting that I could find the first thing that we got is the Chicago style hot dog got some cheese sauce and we got the jalapeno fry sauce which is really good I got their chicken tenders we got some fries we got cheese curds Ooh, I cannot wait and then we got a regular single steak burger California style looks delicious and then we also got the patty melt which I think I'm gonna dive into first because this looks so good and that is the patty melt so I'm gonna dip this into the fry sauce I'm gonna go ahead and get started Mmm. Oh man. Okay, this is delicious. Looks like it has onions and jalapenos on it. Mmm. Okay. So this story time takes place my junior year of high school. This was the first prom that I went to and um, at my high school you could only go to prom your junior year and your senior year and if you were a sophomore you could go to prom but you had to be invited. I was not invited by anyone my sophomore year so I only went junior and senior. I did not have a boyfriend at the time, so I went with a bunch of friends. We went like a group of us girls. Hmm. Wow. That hot dog is so good. It actually has mustard on it, and I love mustard. So one of my best friends that I went with, she had a boyfriend at the time, but her boyfriend went to a different school. And for some reason, she did not take him because we could bring people from other schools. Maybe if you were a senior and if you were a junior, you couldn't. They had really weird rules when I was in high school for prom. It was so bizarre. But... We went like a group of mm, like three or four girls. Try one of these. So we were all on the cheerleading team, the group of us that went to the prom together. But we were also like best friends and they were actually the ones who got me into cheerleading because they all had been cheering for a while and like once I got really good friends with them, they had convinced me to do cheerleading my sophomore year. These chicken tenders are so good. Mmm. So, 
we all get ready we get our hair done get our makeup done we get into our prom dresses we all get ready i want to say we all got ready at my house i think i'm trying to remember mm. dip the cheese curd in the cheese sauce so delicious I don't know what it is, but I've been loving hot dogs here lately. Okay, stay on track, Daisy. I'm pretty sure we get ready at my house, and then we go and get dinner at this really nice restaurant. We did not book any restaurant, so, like, typically... Prom night is very... A lot of high schools do their prom around the same time so you really want to book reservations whenever it's prom time because a lot of people get dinner before prom and usually everywhere is packed so we actually struggled to find somewhere that was not booked and we ended up going to this like extremely fancy restaurant And it was so expensive. <laughs> My dinner, I'm pretty sure it was like $35, just the dinner without tip. It was so expensive. It was so good though. And honestly, treat yourself. <laughs> Even though we were in high school and we were like broke. We get done with dinner. And then we head over to prom. Okay, prom. was in a town that was about 30 to 35 minutes away. And it was actually in the same town as the movie theater that me and Nugget went to back in that story time. <laughs> Cause it was like one of the biggest towns that was close to us. And our prom was at the very top of the BB&T bank building. So if you guys know, a lot of banks have these headquarters in big cities and it's like giant buildings. It was a really nice venue. I really liked it. And we go to prom. Since I was on the cheerleading team, Our coach, our cheerleading coach, was actually at prom. So she like got all of us together and a lot of us were just like dancing together and we kind of stayed together, us girls. We didn't really like interact with any of the guys there because I think I mentioned this in my last story time. All the guys at my high school were just very bleh. <laughs> I did date a few of them, but that was mostly freshman and sophomore year. Once I got to my junior year, I really did not date any of the guys at my high school. Just because we quickly realized they were a bunch of losers. <laughs> Not that they're losers now. Hopefully they have all grown up, but back in high school, boys did not know how to treat girls. <laughs> at least at my school, because the story time does involve guys from another school. But anyways, <laughs> we just went to such a small high school. Everyone was very Southern. It was a very small town high school. And the guys there were just, not it sis they were not it sis okay i need to try this steak burger looks really good so we did not really interact with any of the guys during prom or dance with them oh my gosh that's delicious so all of us girls were just dancing together hanging out having a good time and 
the night honestly went by so fast we had such a fun time the food was amazing they had a lot of like finger foods oh, it was so good but yeah the night went by so fast and typically after prom a lot of people will like get together afterwards and people will have like an after party or they'll just do something all together after prom however we really didn't talk to anybody at the time that were into parties or partying or like anything like that so we didn't have any plans with anyone and like I said, we really didn't mess with the guys at my high school, so after prom, we ended up just going home, back to my house. Um, we all change out of our prom dresses, and we're just chilling at my house, but we're like... It's literally prom night. Why are we just sitting in the house? Like, we need to do something. We've got to do something. We can't just end prom night doing nothing, going home, getting in our pajamas, and going to sleep. Like, we got to do something. So, one of the girls that we were best friends with that was in our friend group, she knew some guys that went to a different high school, but these guys are separate from her boyfriend who also went to a different high school. So like I said, her boyfriend went to a different high school and she knew other guys that went to a different high school. So she ended up linking us together with a group of guys that she knew and she was gonna go off with her boyfriend. So this girl basically made us plans with these guys but she didn't stay with us because she ended up going to see her boyfriend. But, she managed to get us plans. Where are we going to call the girl with the boyfriend? Because I feel like I need to give them names so this isn't confusing. Hmm. We're going to call her... I don't know. We're going to call her Maddie because I'm in front of this Maddie-O's pizza joint. So we'll call her Maddie. That wasn't her actual name. So Maddie goes off with her boyfriend and now we're down to four girls. Me and three other girls. And this other girl, we're going to call her Butter. We'll call her Butter. So Butter drives us. She drove over to my house and she had the biggest vehicle. She had like an SUV. So she was like, okay, I will drive us to meet these guys while... Maddie goes with her boyfriend. We all load up in Butter's car and we head over to, we literally drive, we literally drive like back to where the prom is because where these guys were located, they were located in a town that was very close to the town <laughs> that our prom was in. So we drive like 25 to 30 minutes back over to this town and we end up meeting with these guys. So there were three guys and we meet them. It was either at a Sheets, a Cookout, or Sonic. I don't quite remember which it was, but I know it was kind of like a fast food place or like a or gas station or something that had like a outdoors area because back when I was in high school I don't know if this is still a thing but everyone would meet at cookout or sheets everyone would just hang out in the parking lot that was like such a high school thing to do I'm wondering if people still do that but we end up meeting them at one of those places I cannot quite remember which but we're all Sorry, I got napkins below the table. Y'all can't see. I'm like waving my hands off. But we all meet up and we're talking. Like I said, there was three guys and there was four girls. Okay. So I feel like naturally when a group of girls meets a group of guys, you kind of just like pair up. At least that's how it was back in high school. 
I feel like people do that in college too. But we all link up. These guys are all Greek. <laughs> They're literally Greek guys. Okay. And they were all super cute. Also keep in mind, three of us, me and two other girls are like best, best friends. Like it was us three and then Maddie who had left. We were like the four besties. Us three and Maddie were like this and Butter was just kind of a friend not like a best friend so somehow miraculously me and my two best friends we all pair up with a guy and butter is kind of left out so butter doesn't really have a guy that she's linked up with and i feel like she gets super mad about it because she sees um, that this pairing is happening. So she starts getting salty. You can tell she's getting really salty and she starts to be like, okay, we need to go. We need to go home. It's time to go. Let's go back. We were like, Butter, you drove 30 minutes to get here, which was quite the drive. It wasn't even midnight at that point. We we're like, why would we go back? We're all hanging out. We're having a good time. Like, what's going on? And she's like, no, I want to go home. I'm tired. I'm driving back. Y'all either come with me or not come with me. And we're like, are you really about to leave us here? At the end of the day, we were all hanging out together. And it's not like she was being excluded. So she ultimately decides that she's leaving and we can either come with her or we can stay there. And then the guys were like, okay, how about this? This girl can leave, she can leave y'all and we'll take you home. And we were like, are you sure? Because that's gonna be like a 30 minute drive for you and back. And they're like, it's fine. Like we're having a good time. We'll take you home, she can leave. So Butter leaves, she straight ditches us and we didn't think she was actually gonna leave, but she did. <laughs> I'm making a mess yeah anyway she was out she dips and she goes back to my house which was so bizarre because i was like if you go back to my house my parents are gonna be like where's daisy and the rest of the girls like why are you here by yourself i don't exactly remember what happened with that but yeah she just went back to my house and we're still with these guys so we end up leaving the place that we had originally met at and each of us goes with the guy that we were talking to and we go to this it was really nice it was like a park but it was kind of like a it wasn't exactly a park but it kind of was it was landscaped so beautifully it was so nice and Two of the guys had drove and one of the guys had rode with one of the other. So I go with a guy I was talking to in his vehicle. My friend goes with a guy she was talking to in his vehicle. And then my friend, sorry, my camera died. But yeah, the third friend went with her guy to, I don't even know. I guess they were just hanging out in the park, <laughs> which is kind of sketchy now that I think back to it because it was really late, but... yeah so i'm just hanging out with this guy in his car and we're just talking i'm kind of getting to know him this was my first time ever meeting this guy and i thought he was so freaking cute like he was so adorable and like i said he was greek i just thought that was the coolest thing back in high school our school did not have anybody who was like greek or italian or russian or from another country and i was just very fascinated by it so we were hanging out we were just talking very like innocent stuff but honestly it was so much fun and i was like This is a crazy prom night because our friend literally ditched us <laughs> and left us here with these random guys, but it's so much fun and they were so cool. They were so respectful. They were also very gentlemanlike, but I don't know <laughs> what my other two friends did with their guys. I ain't going to spill the tea on that because I can't fully say what happened, but 
we all end up linking back up. We stayed with these guys for super, super, super late. It was so late. And I kind of feel like my parents tried to call me. But I don't quite... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm missing out on a big part of this. Okay. So we don't stay in their cars for the entire night. We end up going to a random field. Okay. So we go to a random field. These guys know about this field. We didn't know where the heck we were, but they take us to this random giant field. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to like remember exactly what happened. I feel like things got crazier, but I don't quite remember. But I do remember my dad ended up calling me while we were in the field because I was like, I feel like I talked to my dad that night, but I can't quite remember. I know it wasn't in the car. So we're in this random field. My dad calls me and I think he saw that Butter had came back and he was like, why is Butter here and you're not here? Like what's going on? So I'm talking to my dad on the phone and I'm like, everything's fine. Like we're hanging out with some friends. Butter got tired. She decided to go home, but uh, these people are going to take us home. Don't worry, they're gonna take us home. I don't even think I told him that we were with guys. I was like, <laughs> which, don't do what I did. If you're in this situation, be honest, be honest with your parents. I have a family where I could have been honest with him and he would have been cool with it, but I know other people have very strict parents, which honestly, <laughs> learn from what i did and probably don't do this at all don't be with random guys but anyways we were having a good time and honestly it's fun to look back on as an older person i'm just like you know i had a lot of good times in high school it's all good but anyways we were in this random field and i just remember things got super crazy i'ma save the details but eventually i think we did not go home until like seven o'clock in the morning they ended up taking us back to my parents house butter was passed out on my bed she did not have a care in the world she did not care that she ditched us she did not care how we were getting back she was like you know what whatever i'ma get my z's so yeah she was asleep and these guys dropped us off like i said luckily they were super nice they're very gentleman like and it was honestly a really fun crazy night and i feel like y'all are not grasping the craziness of this story because i'm kind of like leaving some details out but I actually recently reconnected with the guy that i was paired up with because we had added each other on snapchat back then or maybe we added each other on snapchat we added each other on snapchat at some point i've had my snapchat for so long now but we recently reconnected and i was like do you remember that night in high school our prom night when we met up with y'all that was a crazy night and he literally remembered all of it and he was like that night was so crazy i feel like we all just have a good memory of it because i don't know it was fun and whenever you're in high school stuff like that is out of the blue because you don't usually do stuff like that but yeah that's pretty much the story i hope you guys enjoyed i know it's not the most entertaining story there's kind of a few more things that i left out because you know you know but let's do shout outs and then we're gonna wrap up this video hopefully y'all enjoyed it let me find my phone Whew, i am so full okay so today's shout outs goes out to naomi naomi said great video as usual really love your channel thank you so much and then second shout out goes out to naina or naina um she said hi daisy love you so so much can i get a shout out in your next video so shout out to you i love you all so much i hope you guys enjoyed this little story time Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys